السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ ہائی اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو میتھ کلاس ان دس ویڈیو اباؤٹ ملٹی ڈیجٹ ڈویژن سو وی ول سی ہاؤ وی کین ڈیوائڈ اے فور ڈیجٹ نمبر بائی اے ٹو ڈیجٹ نمبر لاسٹ ایئر وی لرن ہاؤ ٹو ڈو ڈویژن پرابلمس فرسٹلی لیٹس just to revise the basic division ideas so please open your page number 95 let's begin divide 897 by 3 897 by 3 how to divide this number so here we have the dividend which is a three digit number and the divisor which is a single digit number let's consider the first digit of the dividend which is 8 897 divided by 3 we write the numbers separately as given in the question then start your division steps you know in division there are four steps first divide second multiply third subtract last one bring down divide multiply subtract bring down is it clear first we look at how many times 3 goes out of 8 How many times? 3 into 3 is equal to 9. Next, 2 into 3. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So, 3, 2 times in 8. Make sure, just using a factor, which gives you the multiple, which is either equal or less than the dividend. Keeping that in your mind. Let's write two here as a quotient. What's the next step? We have to multiply the quotient and the divisor. So what is 2 into 3? It is 6. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. The next step is subtraction. So subtracting 6 from 8 6 from 8 it is 2 now we have subtracted the numbers the next step is to bring down the next digit because 2 is less than the divisor which is the next figure it is 9 right so let's bring down 9 here now our dividend is 29 now what is the next step we are repeating the whole process so 29 divided by 3 how many threes will go in 29 7 into 3 is 21 8 into 3 is 24 9 into 3 is 27 10 into 3 is 30 which is more than this dividend 30 we are considering multiple before that one which number before 30 it is 27 that means 9 into 3 is 27 so Quotient is 9. Now we multiply 9 into 3. Give us 27. What do we do? We have to subtract these two numbers. That means 29 minus 27. Nine minus seven, 
is equal to 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Now the next step is to bring down the next digit. Which is next digit? It is 7. So bring this 7 down gives you the number or the dividend is 27. Now repeat in the whole process again. The 3 are in 27. Yes, 9. Write 9 as a quotient. 9 in, then multiply 9 into 3 is 27. Then subtract 27 minus 27 is equal to 0. In this question, answer is 299. We call the answer as a quotient. 897 is dividend. 3 is divisor. 0 is called reminder. These are the basic ideas of division. All of you clear? Yes. Let's divide 4 digit number by 2 digit number. Look at this example. Divide 8644 by 12. So, here we have the dividend which is 4 digit number and the divisor which is 2 digit number. Look at this example. Divide 8644 by 12. So, here we have the dividend which is a 4 digit number and the divisor which is a 2 digit number. We could start by asking how many 12's will fit into 8? How many 12's will fit into 8? But since our divisor now has a 2 digit, we automatically need to group the first two digits and ask how many 12 in 86 we are dividing with a two digit number let's consider the first two digits of the dividend which is 86 we know that 10 times 12 would be 120 10 times 12 120 so 5 times 12 is 60. 6 times 12, 60 plus 12, 72. 7 times 12, 72 plus 12, 84. So, write 7 as a quotient. What is the next step? We have to multiply the quotient and the divisor. So, what is 7 into 12? 7 into 12 it is 84 and the next step is subtracting so subtracting 86 and 84 gives you what 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 8 minus 8 0 now we have subtracted the numbers the next step is to bring down the next digit. Which is the next figure? It is 4. So let's bring down this 4 here. So that give us 24. Now our dividend is 24. Now what is the next step? We are repeating the whole process again. So 24 divided by 12. 12 ones are 12. 12 twos are 24. So, second digit of the quotient is 2. 2 then multiply. 2 into 12 is equal to 24. Then subtract 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. Now we have subtracted the numbers again. The next step is to bring down the next digit. 
which is the next digit it is 4 bring down 4 then divide 4 with divisor 12 that means divide 4 by 12 12 is greater than 4 so it is not possible to divide 12 by 4 so write as 0 then multiply 0 into 12 is equal to 0 then subtract 4 minus 0 is equal to this problem ends here so write quotient is 720 reminder is 4 all of you clear now let's do another problem divide 528 by 24 3 digit dividend by 2 digit divisor let's start first checking how many 24s will fit into 5 but since our divisor now has 2 digits we automatically need to group the first 2 digits and ask how many 24 will make 52 this is trickier because multiples of 24 are not on our multiplication table instead we have to figure out by estimating or guessing how many 24 in 52 because we know that 2 times 25 would be 50 so 2 is a really good estimate for the first digit of our answer so write 2 as a quotient then multiply 2 times 24 is equal to 48 then subtract 48 from 52 we get reminder 4 2 minus 8 borrow 1 from so 12 minus 8 4 4 minus 4 0 ok we have already dealt with the first two digits of the dividend so now we bring down the last digit to join the reminder and ask how many 24 will make 48 how many 24s will make 48 that is easy it is 2 again 2 times 24 48 because we just saw that 2 times 24 is 48 write 2 as a quotient then multiply 2 into 24 is equal to 48 then subtract 48 minus 48 is equal to 0 so the answer to this problem is 22 clear now let's have a look one more problem divide 528 by 88 it is also got a two digit divisor so we will start the same way we will start with two digit and ask how many 88s will it make 52 or almost 52 see the problem even though both are two digits this won't work because 88 is already greater than 52 and that means we are going to have to take an even bigger number of this dividend that is 528 divided by 88 we need to group the first three digits together but that's just like doing the whole problem at once without breaking it into any steps well a little estimating will help us make to get answer the numbers 88 and 528 are kind of hard to work with but if we made estimate of those numbers 
if we make estimate of those numbers if we change them to 90 instead of 88 and 500 instead of 528 that would be make it is easier to estimate the answer now 90 and 500 since 100 would divide it into 500 exactly 5 times that means that 90 will divide into 500 in 5 times so let's make 5 our first estimate for the answer check to see how good that estimate is we multiply 5 into 8 5 into 8 are 40 right 0 5 into 8 are 40 40 plus 4 44 and then subtract that from 522 sorry 528 528 minus 440 8 minus 0 8 2 minus 4 borrow 1 from here 12 minus 4 8 the remainder is 88 5 times 8 5 times 88 is 440 and when we subtract 440 from 528 we get a reminder of 88. It looks like our estimate was too low. Whenever the reminder is greater than or equal to the divisor, it means we underestimated the answer. In fact, since our reminder is equal to the divisor, it means we could have divided exactly one more 88 into 528. So, we should have right 6 and if you multiply 6 times 88 you will see that it is 528 6 into 88 528 528 minus 528 is equal to 0 so quotient is 6 reminder is 0 I am concluding today's class here. Please note your homework page number 100, exercise number 3.3, .3, question number 1A to F. Do your homework and send it to school WhatsApp number. You will learn more about division again in the next class. Thank you.